Ink design is a style of cropping images to create effects like pouring ink or light clouds. The most special thing about it is that it can create this effect with any image without editing the image first. This is an extremely impressive effect used in almost every field of design. To do this effect, we only need to use CSS. Today, I will share with everyone two levels of ink design. And both of these levels use only three lines of CSS. And this will be the result of this video. To save us some time, I prepared an HTML file, a CSS file, and an image that I will use in this video. And this is the current interface of it, so boring, right? The first thing we will do is use an image as a background for the website banner. Note that here we will not directly add the background image to the banner element. Remember the example at the beginning of our video. The animation we created will cause the background image to be cropped. But the content inside the banner will not be affected. That is why we will have to create a separate element to take on the role of background. First in the banner, if you don't have the position attribute, add it. The element I'll add is the before element. This is a special element that can be requested just by declaring CSS. For a before element to be activated, you must declare the content property. Since the banner element has declared the position property, this child element only needs to declare the absolute position. And with the inset property with the value of zero, then the position and size of the before element will be the same as the banner. Now I will proceed to add the background, as usual. Please note that these CSS code lines are only used to create a normal background, so they will not be counted in the three special CSS code lines that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Use background size cover to resize the image to fit the banner size, and position center to ensure that no matter the size, the center of the image is always placed in the middle of the banner. Currently, the before element is overlapping and covering all the content inside the banner. Add Z index minus one to fix that. And we have completed the preparation stage. Now let's move on to ink design level one. At level one, the resource we need to find is ink transparent images. There are many images like this everywhere. The important thing is that you need to get an image with a transparent background. For example, this image is invalid because it has a white background. This is the type of image we need to find. It has a transparent background. I will download it to use. My three lines of CSS promise will count from here. I use the mask image property with the value being the path to the ink transparent background image we just downloaded. When an element is declared as a mask image, the system will automatically check and isolate the areas where the ink is transparent, then those areas will be completely removed. This creates an extremely interesting effect that many designers in all fields enjoy. The way to handle mask ink is exactly the same as the way to handle normal background images. I use size cover so that the mask image size is always the same as the banner. And position center so that the center of the mask image is always in the center of the banner. Right now, many of you will probably have an idea for level 2, creating animation for ink design. That is to replace a normal ink image and mask image with an ink video with movement. And that is a completely wrong answer. Remember that the rule of masking images is to remove areas where the ink has a transparent background, but videos cannot have transparent backgrounds. And on top of that, masking images do not support videos. To find resources, you can search for the keyword ink video or use Vecteezy to search. Why do we still have to find videos when mask image does not support videos? That's because the most resources for ink animation are videos. We will find the videos we like and then process them before using them with mask image. Here I will choose the video labeled free. Then just download it. Once downloaded, we will move on to step two. You can use any application you want because our purpose at this stage is simply to cut out the excess parts of the photo. I will only leave the first ink animation, the rest will be deleted. Then I will download this new video. And the final step is to convert our video into a GIF image. All the resources and applications that I used in this video will be listed in the comments or description of the video, so everyone can continue watching the video comfortably. After uploading the video, in this section you should leave it at the highest value to ensure the image's motion effect is as smooth as possible. Then just click Submit. 
So we have the first GIF image, but it's not over yet. Remember that the image we need will have a transparent background. So here I continue to click on remove background. In the custom section, I will point the color I want to remove to the background of the image to make sure it removes the correct color. In this section, the value is usually selected as 10. Then continue to click submit. So we have removed the background of the image. However, everyone notices by default, GIF images will always be looped infinitely. But in my design idea, I only want the ink animation to work once. So I will continue to click to change the number of repetitions. Choose one so it does not repeat. Then click submit one last time to get the result. And save it to your project. Back to our project. Now what you need to do is replace the GIF image we just got into mask image. And here is the result. Based on this tutorial, do you have any ideas for the slider? I believe it will be very impressive. Please share your ideas with me in the comment section of this video. If you find these shares interesting, please like and subscribe so I can accompany you, share with you more interesting knowledge about web design and programming. With my own ideas and designs, I only share what you cannot find elsewhere. I hope it will be interesting and useful to everyone. If you have any questions and wish for any topic to appear in the following videos, do not hesitate to leave a comment because that is also one of the ways new videos on our channel are published. Finally, thank you and see you in the next video.